Embryo grading is the process by which we um, evaluate the size and quality of the cells that make up the embryos that are in the culture in order to select the best embryos uh, for transfer. We use a modified version of what's called the Gardner method. Uh, this is a three-point system for uh, evaluating embryos. So each embryo gets a series of three numbers. The first number describes the uh, extent to which the embryo has grown or expanded. So embryos, as they grow in culture, they actually fill with water, just like a balloon, if you picture a balloon filling up with water. Um, and we give them a score based on how much they've grown. So on day five, we like to see embryos that are in the middle of that expanding process or have fully expanded. Uh, that number would be a three or a four. Uh, by day six, sometimes we see embryos that have expanded so much that they have started to hatch out of their inner shell or have completely hatched out, and that would be a score of a five or a six. The next number is a uh, description of the quality of a group of cells inside that embryo called the inner cell mass. The inner cell mass, or the ICM, is uh, a group of cells that actually becomes the fetus. So we look at that uh, cluster of cells and we evaluate it based on the size, uh, the quality, and how tightly knit they are and how much they're talking to each other. That scoring system is a one to three, with one being the best. The last number is, uh, indicates the quality of what's called the trifectoderm. The trifectoderm are all the cells that surround that inner cell mass, and that eventually becomes the placenta. So similarly, we look at those cells uh, for the quantity or how many cells, um, and the quality, their morphology, if they look fluffy or if they look um, not as nice. Uh, and that's also a one to three, the one to the best score. So in the end, each embryo has three numbers associated with it. So you can see something like B411, and that would be a fully expanded blastocyst, or with a one ICM, or the good quality ICM, and a one trifectoderm, good quality trifectoderm. This embryo grading is extremely important because it is the best way tool that we have right now to select the embryos that have the best potential to implant or make a baby. So instead of just selecting an embryo randomly in the dish, we know that these um, criteria are directly co correlated with the embryo's ability to make a baby. So by assigning them a score, we are able to essentially give them a rank and then choose the best one for transfer and or freezing. If you are a patient having an embryo transfer, the doctor will review the embryo quality with you as well as the decision process that was made in terms of which embryo was selected for transfer. In some cases, uh, patients don't have a transfer. Instead, the embryos are frozen. And if that's the case, then the embryologists call the patients and review the embryo quality with them over the phone.